Yo, welcome back to another video. This is Patrick's article with another video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you have not already. But in today's video, you're going to be learning about a setup, a proper setup for a turtle this size, which is my yellow belly, or like how, what kind of setup you need for to start out with a turtle like this size or even smaller. In today's video, we'll show you how what kind of setups they would need and what kind of setups, in my opinion, that I use for having turtles like this size. So you guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And yeah, guys, and I'll show you guys what filters. I'm going to uh, show you some images on the screen during the video, what filters I've used and like what things I feed my turtles also. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the guys, let's get right into this. And yes, guys, this is Leonardo, and I've had him for over a couple of years now. I've had him. He's like one of my favorite turtles. He's healthy, always shedding properly. He's been through a lot. I got him through someone. I actually got him through someone actually in the past because they wanted to give him a new home. And I was like, you know what? I'm take I was taking in a lot of turtles at the time. And I was like, you know what, I'll take him. And I did have many other turtles in the past, like Red Ear Sliders, which I don't have, sorry, I do not have any of those anymore. I rehomed them, or I gave them to people I knew that would take care, take them in. But, pretty much, uh, I'm in every video, I'm going to try to show you guys new turtle, the turtles that I have previously, and turtles I'm thinking of getting in the future. But in today's video, I'm showing you the Yellow Belly, and in other videos, I might show you like the, my baby painted turtle or my soft shell or my other yellow belly that I have that is about smaller than this and I can show you what tank setup they have but in today's video I want to show you about this yellow belly which is Leonardo and well I know oh, it's surprisingly moving in the video that is like surprising but you are probably asking what is it in it is in this tote I have so it won't like jump off the table or anything like that. Let me set the tripod up like back up. And guys, I want you guys to comment down below if there's anything else. Like should I do better lighting next video? Or should I just keep it the way it is? I'm always open to some new suggestions. And yeah, comment down below any new ideas you guys might have. And yeah guys, uh, like the video and subscribe. But pretty much this is a yellow belly. And they come from from in the southeastern United States specifically Florida or the southeastern of Virginia yeah guys here is a fun fact uh, there are some two states where no turtles are illegal and that is Hawaii for example which is, I think, is pretty cool. There's some turtles I'd love to own, but it's just it's illegal to have them. The average size for a yellow belly slider, yellow belly, not yellow, but yellow belly, so, uh, yellow belly turtle, would be, I would say, five to eight inches, because I think. That's how big I've had. This is probably the biggest I've had my turtles. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get a better angle of it. it. Let me stand my tripod up real quick. Or, if you want to put it in centimeters, be 20.3 centimeters to 12.5 centimeters as length of long. Record length would be a, a, the most world re the record that's out there right now is about 11.4 inches to 28.9 centimeters. That is a huge turtle. I think the biggest turtle I have is about uh, was my yellow belly. He passed away sadly, but he was about 13 inches and he was huge and he was a red ear slider. Uh, how their lifespan? I would say they're about as big. They can live up to 40 years in captivity, but if they were, like, living out there in wild, like, not in captivity, it would be up more than 40 years. It's just when they're in captivity, they usually live less, depending on the owner who has them and how they get taken care of. They can live over 40 years if they taken care of, like, precisely. 
And some people ask me, are oh, your turtles aggressive? Uh, they Overall, yellow-bellied sliders are highly sociable animals. Even those turtles that are shy at the beginning will become more comfortable in a short period of time. And I believe that is really true. And a lot, I've been getting these comments on my Instagram. You're not going to follow me right now. I'll be on the screen right now. Same with my TikTok. But I have them in this pond that's about 150 to 120 gallons huge. And yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have much water in it. But most turtles spend their time on land. And a lot of people out there, yeah, but the turtles, don't they live in the water most of the time? Well... There's about maybe 75 gallons of water in the pond, and that. And people ask me, do they just jump off the sides? Surprisingly, how long I've had these turtles. I've had these turtles about almost a year and a half now. Y'all remember when I got these turtles? I think I made a video on them. Actually, it was a while ago. But I've had these animals for a while, and that these turtles are quite awesome animals and they grow really fast and when you have turtles and you buy a little like let's say you go to like the reptile show I'll just name when I went to the reptile show you can get like the babies for you, some people sell them really cheap some people sell them for like eighty it's hundred dollars but it, it, some people just don't know what they're pricing some turtles are worth a lot some people turtles are not but a yellow belly averagely cost if they were bred Give or take sixty to eighty dollars if you were to get everything for it. But for just the turtle itself, I would say twelve to twenty-four dollars if you go to a reptile show and you've seen the turtle breeder. There's always a turtle breeder in a reptile show. You always eventually see him. And um, yeah, and overall, I would say a turtle would cost you a yearly. Me okay with food. And if you had to upgrade, uh, if you was a baby and you started off with a baby, I would say maybe over maybe three hundred dollars if you wanted to give it a perfect setup, everything you need to it and everything. But if you were older and you had a big setup, for, let's say a seventy-five gallon, which I did have, but I'll pop one up on the screen right there. And well, your toe would be set for a long, long time, and. Once it gets big enough, you could upgrade it to a pond like I did, or you could just make an outdoors pond. It's just depending on your living and your situation where you live. Mine is in my basement in a pond. Eventually, I'm going to make a big, huge setup and do have a bigger setup than even they have already coming soon. That video will be coming out in a, for a while, but eventually soon. And overall, I think they're happy where they are. And their filters filter out. I'll put some filters that I use up on the screen right now. The Penguin BioWheel 360 is one I do use for my 55 gallon long for my yellow belly and my soft shell that I have in there. And for them, I got two pumps working on theirs. One before 35 gallons, but I have two of them in there to keep it all circulated. And then they have driftwood and all of that in there. Some basking areas as well, which is really awesome. I have a UBL bulb on them and a heat bulb to keep them warm as well. If you guys have any questions, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for any of the videos. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And, um, yeah, guys, comment down below if you have any questions for any yellow bellies, any, like, questions in general you guys want to know about. Them, just let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. I'm always open to new suggestions or feedback on the videos. And also, guys, comment down something nice and also go share this video out to everyone you know, family, friends cat, your dog, your grandma, your uncle, your un uncle, your great great grandma, I don't know, or just make a flyer and hang it up on a wall, remind everyone, hang it on your fridge, make it, let your mom see, be, make your family proud, I don't know, but guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah guys, uh, if you have any suggestions down below, any questions down below, let me know, um, I'm always open up to new suggestions, but guys, hope you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, God bless. And yeah, guys, see you guys in the next one. Comment down what turtle I should do. And yeah, guys, I should have probably just end the intro here before the video gets super long. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, God bless. Until next time.